Hi, this is Roman Tube. Today on the Hunter, Call of the Wild, I'm after Willow Ptarmigans. Hopefully, I'm going to get some raccoon dogs as well, but I find a really good location for Willow Ptarmigans. They're everywhere. So, if you're wondering why I'm flicking around, it's because they're in all these trees. Some are flying, some are on the floor. What I find is the ATV, because I was coming down to this lookout point, is perfect for spooking them and getting them from making noise. So it's a good way of finding them. There we go. Come here, come here. What are you doing? <laughs> we want one of them. <laughs> come back. <laughs> Our first video we did Eurasian teal. I hunted for those, got some of those, and they're excellent. But these fellas are right fun. <laughs> I'm trying to gauge whether the 22 LR is even st still worth using for birds because it's so hard now with them and uh, it's not going to be worth using when you're shooting like that but it is really hard to hit the birds with the 22 LR now now they've got different random flight patterns and more realistic flight patterns I should say we find <laughs> I just thought he was going to get into the trees and get away but we got him so we've got a few down I'm mainly using the Kuso shotgun with these I've been uh, trying to Kuso, the clandestine and uh, the clandestine I like better for waterfowl but the Kuso I like better in the forest you've got more bullets and you can reload quite fast so it's good for that so I found loads of these Willow Tommy gun what I found is the bottom right hand corner of Reventuri Coast is really good there's a lot of animals down here as you can see you've got raccoon dogs I'm writing some of these down if you're wondering why I'm just looking at it and try to make a list of all the needs and times for all the animals on Remy the Coast. I'm having a lot of fun. But every time you turn around, there's something else to shoot. <laughs> so it's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying myself. There's another one. <laughs> Come back. Give me a diamond. I think they're level threes. I don't know if they control or not, but I've seen some really nice variations already. When you go to any new map, it's always an assault on the sensors because you've got all these strange noises coming from everywhere. So there we go, there's our first Willow Ptarmigan. It's a bicolour, that's its plumage type. Seven, was it 772? Uh, for diamond, there you go. Absolutely stunning. I never thought Willow Ptarmigan would be so fun. On Classic, they're a bit 50 50. A lot of people do like hunting Willow Ptarmigan on Classic, but some people call them like flying rats or they don't really like them because they can be quite hard to find. But these are really fun, they really are. It's another one down. So I don't know how many there is in this area, but there's a lot of them. <laughs> hey, oh, <laughs> it's back. Raccoon dogs on the run. I've seen a few raccoon dogs around this area, like I say, right hand side bottom. Uh, we'll have a look at the map and uh, I'll show you in a minute. I'm just trying to remember where all these bodies are and this is why we need a retriever dog. <laughs> so what's that one? That's a female brown. Look at that. Normally females on some species, you're not too bothered, but they're actually, I think, prettier than the males on the willow ptarmigan. That's a really nice pattern. Taxi to Mars, that one. But yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. The teal was really good. I've seen quite a few moose in certain locations. Um, shot my first. Look at that by colour. That's a female. And the gold. So I'm guessing females can make diamond and males. But they look absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I want a diamond one of them if I can. For the trophy lodge. I shot my first Capricada yesterday as well. That's one of the most wanted ones. So I found a few locations for them. And um, we might do that next. I don't know. We might go for raccoon dogs next if we don't get one today. But we've seen a few knocking about in this area. Hello, Moose. Where's the great one? Is it a great one, Moose? Let me know. <laughs> but no, no clues on that yet. I haven't found any indications. So I don't know what the new great one is yet, but I have seen some really good animals and having a lot of fun. If there's anything you want to know, see from Reb and Tuli Coast, drop it in the comments and I'll try and help you out or cover the content you want to see. Like I say, just let me know. I'm just going around the map. I've opened it up nearly all of it now and um, now I've got all the locations opened up 
I'm just going to different sort of biomes of the map now and just checking out areas and seeing what's there. The top right hand corner is very good for whitetail, moose, uh, some of the bird species. But yeah, the very top right for moose is unreal. Uh, bottom right hand corner is good for raccoon dogs, widow timer guns, as you can see, moose. There's bears down here as well, brown bears. Then when I was hunting yesterday, in the bottom right hand corner, you can just hop onto that island and you've got loads of different bird species where you put a set up and get your boat blind out. So there's a lot of action down this bottom right hand corner and all down the bottom shoreline. The outpost above uh, where I am now, I actually found a probably six or eight raccoon dogs, so it's a very good area. I know a few other areas, so we'll probably hunt them next. But look at that, that's a molting female and it's gold. This is what I was on about. I think the female willow timer guns actually look better than the males in this. But that is beautiful. Sort of like a gold speckled bronze, the red, uh, what was it called again? I can't, what, what is with it? Something like that, uh, above the eyebrows. But that looks stunning. So that's gonna be taxidermized. We'll have a look in the trophy lodge later on at these and I'll show you what they're like close up been absolutely sweltering here in the UK and we're just not built for it we're, we're not used to hot temperatures like where I'm in Nottingham UK land of Robin Hood um, we get 200 days of the year is just rain so we may more used to cold and rain and uh, it's absolutely sweltering so it's like 30 degrees in my room where I'm in recording right now and it's not very nice <laughs> so hopefully it cools down soon but this is the lodge I was on about the outpost right that one there and you can see where I've been shooting stuff. But go down that road and down the coast towards where I am, and you get literally moose, white tails, brown bears, raccoon dogs, willow ptarmigans, and then you get all the bird species on the coast. So it's a very good area to come if you want to get a lot of action and just have a lot of fun. Just like I'm doing, I'm just driving around, shotgun, rifle, jumping off, shooting stuff, and just having fun exploring. But uh, this is going to be a very popular area down this way. So I might actually put a tent somewhere around here. But I could always just run down the road anyway from the outpost. It's been a super busy week for me. We've been doing videos on new hunting games coming. We've got the Angler, Colorado the Angler's coming. That is my dream. It really is. So check that out if you've already seen it. And I did a dev recap. If you missed that, condense all the... Uh, what you need to know basically about the angler PC functional video. So yeah, it's been a busy week and we're just starting with Rebin Tooley Coast as well, so I'm gonna have plenty of content on this for you. Like I say, if you want to see anything, drop it in the comments and I'll try and make it happen. I'm not too bothered about diamonds and whatever, I'm just hunting, having fun. Once I've found out all the key locations where to hunt and that unless you get lucky, then once I've done the, the leg work, that's when I'll go trophy hunting. But uh, this is kind of cool on a lookout point. See? And all the species. I've seen quite a few lynx down here as well for the lynx crew. But it's nice we've gone to this detail. It's a new uh, lookout point. Let's go to the top and claim it. Like I say, I've nearly got all the map open now. It'll take you about. I say on the ATV and you just go to post and don't hunt, it's going to take you about three to four hours to unlock a map on an ATV. So just in case you want to know. So a lot of you are going to want to know the details, so let's go over them for Rebin Tooley Coast. Rebin Tooley Coast is arriving on all platforms on June the 28th, 2022. Which platforms will it come to? It will be released simultaneously on Steam, Epic Game Store, Windows Store, Xbox One and PlayStation 4 at the same time. What will it cost? $7.99. That's how much it's going to cost. How many animal species is there on the reserve? There is 19 species. So let's go over this. Alright, let me take a deep breath. We've got Mallard, Eurasian Teal, Golden Eye, Tufted Duck, Eurasian Widgeon, Canadian Goose, Grey Leg Goose, Bean Goose, Capercaillie, Black Grouse, Willow Ptarmigan, Hazel Grouse, Rock Ptarmigan, Raccoon Dog, Mountain Hare, White Tail Deer, Moose, Brown Bear and Lynx. And a new great one somewhere, but we don't know where that is. <laughs> 
So here we are at Sasiki Swai Trophy Lodge. I've put a few of these Willow Ptarmigans up on trophy mounts so you can have a look at them. I'd love if they put extra lights or you could just turn it up. So some of the areas in certain trophy lodges are a bit dark and I'd love a light above them or you could just turn the lights up a bit brighter. But there you go. Look at some of these models. They're absolutely beautiful. That's a male and that's a molten Willow Ptarmigan. They do look nice. That's another little trick you can do. You can put your light on and then look at them. And this is what I mean. Imagine a light directly above trophy mounts. A little light, it would light them up. They'd look a lot better. There you go. There's a male. That's a bicolour. Have a look at the back. Look, they're very detailed and they're very good looking. So I think these are going to be a surprise hit for a lot of people. I know a lot of people like Willow Ptarmigan hunting anyway, especially in real life. But uh, I think these will be a surprise hit on Rebel Tudy Coast, I really do. So from what you've seen up to yet, what's your favourite animal you've seen? What are you going to go for first? Dropping your top three animals on Rebel Tudy Coast you're going for first. What do you think the new great one is? Drop that in as well. I'm still no closer to finding out. I've not found any clues. I don't know if there's Easter eggs hidden on any maps now. I reckon people should maybe check for that. But uh, I have found no clues whatsoever for what the great one is, the new one. But uh, I've been enjoying hunting these Willow Ptarmigans today. I think next I'm going to probably go for Raccoon Dogs or Capacaylee. Like I say, let me know what you want me to go for. And the most popular answer is what I'll go for. So there you go, that's another one. That's absolutely gorgeous. And like I say, the females tend to be the, the better looking ones for the winner, Willow Ptarmigans. Look at that, absolutely stunning. I've just got to get diamonds in all the uh, fur variations now, or feather variations, I should say. But that does look nice. So I'm Rummit Tube. Hope you enjoyed the video. We've been hunting on Rebertuli Coast for our first time for Willow Ptarmigan. They're a lot of fun and they look great. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels, get ready for the next video, and thanks for watching. Bye bye.